Hello guys and Merry Christmas if you're watching this on the day of release. Now me as a factory engineer in Satisfactory, I've decided to give out the engineer a go. So we're going to be putting our engineering skills to the test today. And the idea is that we have creative solutions to various problems that a engineer would have. For example, in this mission, we need to build a fence like so. And you can see we have pieces down here for building this. And then once we're done, we can press this and we'll be able to see if any creatures get through our fence. And I don't know what we'll be trying to get out of cup. Bidges. <laughs> Apparently giant cats. Okay, that wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, but we can now modify this design and I think we need to be a little bit more um, creative in our construction here. So what I'm going to do is grab our beams and we're going to increase the size to I think something like this. We'll build a few bracing pieces here and hopefully this will more or less keep out the creatures. The only thing we do need to do is add some sheets and our creative solution is almost ready. We need to add some nails as well. Will this defend against cats? It looks good to me. There you go. Nothing is breaking. You see, we're, we're professional. We managed to get a D for it. And there are a selection of really weird missions. So for this one, we have to somehow pick a carrot out of the ground using a handful of rotators, some stone blocks, and also a series of logs and beams. And as a satisfactory engineer, I'm used to automating things, so this shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, how do we do this? We could scoop it up, but we're going to need something in order to pull it down. Here we have, I don't know if this is going to hold the weight, we'll see. But the, the plan is the stone slab that we've stuck in here won't slide out. And then we can just let gravity do its thing because this is a totally realistic physics <laughs> scenario. Uh, okay, let's give it a go and see if this works. <laughs> okay, maybe we need to replan this. I think we were thinking too big. We only need something that's the height of this, and we can do like a, a lever joint. Well, wasn't quite what I was expecting, but it didn't break, so let's just add more weight to it this time. There we go, yes! No, so close, and it stayed intact. So we know we just need to add a bit of height here in order for this to work. I'm so used to building things cleanly, this clearly isn't going to go as planned. <laughs> and here we go. Yes! No, we did it! <laughs> and obviously, the further that you get into this game, the, the more obscure and weird the missions are. So for this one, we just have to build a cart and get our character down the hill. I am so bad at doing this, but we're going to give it a go. We're going to just try a basic cart. And if we brace underneath, we should be safe, right? But I'm having just so much fun playing around <laughs> with these ideas. We'll make sure that we've got some pieces hammered in. And then we can grab our character. He doesn't need to stand facing it. It's probably better not to face the impending doom. And all we need to do is get to the bottom without hitting the floor. And off we go! Hey! That... You're joking. You joke? <laughs> Why? We're so close. No. Uh, let's rework this. Yeah, this could work. Looks a bit like a, a pram. <laughs> let's go. E no. No. <laughs> To be fair, looking over the objective, it says build a cart and reach the destination. That's the mission type. But the completion parameters are just to reach the target area without touching the ground around it. 
I wonder if we can forgo the card, providing we have enough airtime. <laughs> Do we have? So we have a rotator, and we have beams or logs. If we build ourselves some kind of catapult, will this? Work? I don't know. We'll, we'll give this a go. I tell you what, this is so much more difficult because it's not on a straight piece of land. I wish there was some way to like snap things to straight lines so that you could build it how you want. You can see this is all slightly off, which is going to be problematic, I think, when trying to create a catapult. So let's just add a few nails in here. By the way, if you are enjoying this, guys, please do hit the thumbs up and uh, if you do want to see more of this, let me know what you'd like to see me attempt to build in the comments below. All we need to do is place him on top of here. He clearly believes he can fly. And then we just need a counterweight and maybe some supports down here. Can we just bring this down to here? It'd be nice if we could tighten these so that it has... <laughs> wow, that's not gonna work. I think it's snapping because of the amount of weight that's load bearing on this one side. So hopefully that will help. Yeah, that's a start. This is a poor man's trebuchet. Okay, let's go. Ah. Okay, we'll try this time to place it further down. I'm worried this is gonna snap off. Here we go. Nah. I think I'm gonna have to try this in the sandbox because I'm sure we can do this. Perfect. We even have a target. <laughs> so I'm going to start off by building some foundation blocks so that it's flat. And now the next thing for us is to get these beam logs straight. I, I think we're gonna just keep with this straight line for now, just so that we can get this in the right position. From here, I will add my rotators. This is where we find that they won't be in line. I'll have to redo it. And then we'll add another log. Yeah, you see, that's not too bad. That's pretty, pretty close. Hey, that is <laughs> the closest to being a line. I think I've done anything in this game. Let's make sure we've got some nails in. So I'm hoping that this is going to be really effective at keeping this beam in place. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to add is some supports. We're going to need them. We'll run these at full height. Oh wow, that's much longer than I thought it would be. And this is the frame complete, so we can now start working on the catapult section. I'm sure that this should be longer on the sending end. And this one can be a bit shorter, but we want it to be quite long because we want it also to support a lot of weight and then from here we're going to run our beams across just so that it's nice and supported this is where i'm hoping to place all the weight or the counterweight okay, i think that's evenly distributed how are we going to do the weights this could be the difficult part it seems to let us place them on there so we could just create a support cage around these I think the first thing to work out is if it can just support the weight in general. Let's connect these up. And let's just see if that that in theory works. This is going to go flying up. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it swings. <laughs> that might be what we need. That will then help hold in place. Then we can just brace this together. Of course, I can see lots more complications coming from the system, but hey, let's give it a go. Yes. Oh, yeah, that worked perfectly. Right. So we just need to add some weight to it now. Let's just see. We'll start off with a small block. Ugh. <laughs> well, <laughs> it made it to the other side. Let's see. Let's see if we can replace it with our character and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, that's got to hurt. I think I think I need to take this back to the drawing board and work on it a little bit more. So I've rebuilt it and extended the weight out and distributed the weight slightly more even. 
and added smaller, like lower down supports. And it, <laughs> we still have an issue. <laughs> when I run it, what happens is we, we don't release the rock. <laughs> it just sticks. Oh. I, I just, I cannot for the life of me figure out the solution. If we don't have this, the problem is that the rock flings off early, as you can see. And I know this breaks, but we only need it to work once. <laughs> oh, we can throw the cat. I'm tempted. It's going to roll off straight away. No, the carrot weighs so much. <laughs> it just broke it. Oh, NPC. It is your lucky day. <laughs> Reverse catapult. <laughs> if I just add a single support, what will happen? Come on. Yes, yes, yeah. Oh. <laughs> We've rebuilt it once again. I think I'm just going to add a brace here. I can see this snapping off really quickly. Here we go. Please, please. No, it's too heavy. Let me try that again. Let's see where the issue was. Is it here? Oh, wait, this... The, the guy obviously weighs less than the lady. What if... Can we place these NPCs? Huh. He's just going to slip out, isn't he? Here goes nothing. Come on, please, please, please. Yes, yes, yes! He kind of... Ow! So what happened there? Was he not... Was he released too soon or not soon enough? Okay, Wendy. It's your moment to shine! <laughs> okay, that works. Um, I wonder if we have some kind... It's working beautifully. If we add some kind of beam here, where that will stop it so the person actually gets flung. Oh, there's no chance this is going to fly. So my, my, my hope here is that the lever will hit this at about this angle and the monk will go flying towards the church. Alternatively, it's going to break the whole <laughs> thing. We'll see. Please, please work. Yes! I, <laughs> I take it that as a success. Oh, can, can we do it with this guy? Let's see. Um, but guys, if you have enjoyed it, please do hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this, maybe creating some strange contraptions, do let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see. Oh. oh, it is wonderful! And why not check out my one tile city skyline slum next? But guys, special thanks does go to all of our amazing supporters on Patreon, most notably our Solar Eclipse patrons, James Irwin and Fireflesh, as well as our Lunas, the Calamity, Ben Star, and That Dude AW, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Dr. Shotgun. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.